Hey everybody, it's AJ from Knife Bible. We are finally back from a long break. It's very relaxing to disconnect from social media from time to time. We have lots of excellent content to share. For this video, I will be answering a very important question. Can you baton with your knives? Some people have said in the past that you should not baton with your knives because you run the risk of breaking them. Sure, there is some truth to that statement, but it all depends on your knife and its capability. Stay tuned. Right out the gate, you should be using an axe to split your logs and reduce the size of the wood so that then you can use your knife to baton the smaller pieces to make kindling for a fire. I'll show you what I'm talking about. batoning with this SE6 for over four years and I've never had a single problem. I recommend just adding a little bit of blue Loctite to the screws so that they don't loosen when batoning. The only thing that will start to wear out over time is the blade coating. When you finish batoning, remember to clean the blade, strop the cutting edge, and carefully apply a light coating of tool wax or oil along the blade and cutting edge. When you baton the smaller pieces of rounds, it's best to place your knife away from the center and closer to the edge so that you can cut thinner slices off the wood. This will reduce the stress on the knife rather than batoning at dead center of the wood and increasing the chances of getting your knife stuck or damaging it. It is best to baton with a fixed, full tang, unskeletonized blade. 
full tang unskeletonized blades are stronger and can withstand more impact. Here you have a stick tang, a skeletonized full tang, and an unskeletonized full tang. The steel you use is also a huge factor because not all steels perform the same way. You want to use steels with high toughness to avoid chipping or breaking the blade. Some examples are CPM 3V, CPM 4V, CPM Magna Cut, 1075, 1095, or AEBL. Steels like O1, A2 also perform very well, they're just not as tough as the steels I mentioned before. There are several others that can easily make the cut, but I won't go down that list for this video. If batoning your knife was a problem, then why have people been doing it for so long, using a fro? A fro is used to cut thin slices of wood off a log that then are used for things like shakes or shingles, as seen here. Typically, western red cedar is the most popular wood for roof shakes or shingles. Other woods like white oak, black locust, rock elm, and yellow poplar are also excellent choices. So to answer the question, can you baton with your knives? Yes, it just depends on several variables, such as the knife steel, the knife tang, blade geometry, and the techniques used. Another important factor is heat treat, because if the steel is hardened to a high HRC, it will reduce the overall ductility of the blade and make it more susceptible to chipping or breaking. Batoning with your knife is possible. Just keep what I mentioned in mind. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow Knife Bible on Instagram. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Stay sharp. Stay tuned.